this felt like a landmark night for Manchester City. Not only are they through to the quarter finals of the Champions League, but they've beaten Real Madrid and they've beaten them home and away. And to be honest, the 2-1 scoreline on the night probably flatters Real because it was City who had the better chances. And it was one of those nights where it was only really because of Real Madrid's aura for the legend, for the, for the fact that City had got history of blowing it on this on this big occasion that made you feel like it was tighter and more tense than it actually was. Really, City were, were by far the better team. They bested Real in pretty much every area. They were superb in midfield. Rodri, that was one of his best games he's had for City. Um, uh, Cancelo as well, superb at fullback. And Raheem Sterling easily won the battle of the number sevens with, with Hazard. He, he caused fear every time he burst uh, into the Real Madrid box. They, they were brilliant. And you've got to credit, to, uh, you've got to credit Pep Guardiola as well uh, for his tactics on the night. He got it spot on. There was no sitting back. There was no trying to get through this, just hold on to their 2-1 first leg lead. No, City went for it. They pressured and harried uh, Real into mistakes. And that's where both the goals came from. It was from mistakes from Rafa Varane. An absolute nightmare. Gabriel Jesus was obviously tasked with the job of just hounding him. And it worked perfectly for, for both of City's goals. Um, if it had stayed 1-1 for longer, who knows, maybe that tension would have got to them. But there wasn't really any of that sense. There was no sense of nerves about them. And maybe that's because it was an empty stadium. This was football stripped back. It was down to its bare bones. Two 11s against each other. And City were just the better team. Thoroughly deserved to get to the quarterfinals. And you've got to think they'll never have a better chance of winning the Champions League this season.